seconds after my last video, let's jump into Pacific Rim The Black. There is two Pacific Rim The Black trailers that have come out. Now, there was an original opening that we saw for the show. We, we actually got to watch the intro for the show, and I know some people like got upset because some of the Jaegers were fighting kaiju that they never came in contact with. It's not that big of a deal. I think it's just kind of like a cool little intro thing. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, Age of Ultron end credits, but it was all right. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Let's check out what these other things are. We have a new Pacific Rim The Black date announcement from Netflix Anime, and we also have Pacific Rim The Black official trailer. I'm assuming that date announcement is going to be a short version of the trailer, but we'll find out. We're going to watch them both, and we're going to see what's up. I'm assuming they're also going to be in Japanese as well, so I might have to run into the problem where I ran into a singular point where I just can't read the dialogue while watching it, because otherwise I will be too distracted. There's very little I want out of a Pacific Rim anime. I'm, you know, I'm pretty much open to what they're doing. It sounds like it's going to be like a adventure across Australia, as it's just getting bombarded with kaiju, and they're in this Jaeger that they scrapped together the two main characters, and I don't know where it takes place in the timeline, but honestly, all I'm looking for, this could be a brand new continuity, that'd be all right, I'd be okay with that, but what I personally want is this to be a continuation following post-Pacific Rim Uprising, and honestly, as long as it doesn't break continuity at all, I'm totally cool with it, and the only thing I really hope that's in the show is the Pacific Rim theme song, that's all, that's all I'm hoping for, so if they give us that, I'll be very happy, otherwise, you know, there's nothing else I'm totally expecting out of this series, so let's check it out though. Hosted by Netflix Anime. Starting with some cool visuals. Kaiju, glowing kaiju in a city. It's in English. I didn't expect that. Like the glitching. Oh, is that um, Striker Eureka maybe? Yeah, I like the glitching. That was cool. New Jaeger suits are, are pretty cool. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the music is totally Pacific Rim inspired. Obviously, it's Pacific Rim, but I'm just saying. It's good that they brought the music back. That ending little bit of music sounded a lot like... Um, uh godzilla's millennium theme that's cool there's a lot of really good visuals here and i think the anime format is really suited for pacific rim pacific rim is kind of like a live action anime so it's kind of funny to see the franchise go full circle and now it's become an anime it's obviously heavily inspired by things like neon genesis evangelion so it's it's funny that it's now returned to that format and obviously it lends a lot to that format you can do a lot with it i liked all the moving pieces and the jaeger all this the way the suit gets put together obviously i prefer live action i will always prefer live action i would preferred this to have been live action but given that they're doing anime it seems like they're going to do a lot of fun stuff with it all right let's check out the official trailer see what we're working with here once again posted by netflix anime we start out again i think it's yeah it's going to be like an extended trailer that is a cool shot though that kaiju in the city is pretty awesome that is a question is i wonder where they are breaching from the whole continent has fallen that's a pretty big loss <laughs> That's a great music cue right there. I really like that. I like the spinning in the background too. There's a lot of a, a lot of good stuff going on here. It's very detailed. I have a feeling people would probably like that more than they like the Godzilla anime trilogy animation. It's a lot better than that. Now, for those of you keeping score at home, you will notice we watched the same clip twice right then. That wasn't intentional. It was because for whatever reason, I had the clip downloaded wrong with the wrong name. So let's actually watch the trailer this time. It's two minutes, so it's a little longer. All right, posted once again by Netflix anime. Let's check it out. got a really cool um, visual style. I guess it would make sense that they're speaking English there in Australia. I like that kaiju design as well. We actually saw a picture of him before, but he's got a pretty cool design. Love the blues. Love the neon blues. The rift. There it was. It's very, very apocalyptic. Definitely a uh, takes place after a um, <laughs> big loss. Obviously the whole continent's gone, but you know, it's, it's, you can tell, you can tell that this is an apocalyptic scenario that they're in. Now we have never seen this Jaeger before. Okay, all right, we'll have a little bit of humor. 
This uh, this trailer is all, all, almost better than the Uprising stuff was. <laughs> it's a really cool concept, though. You definitely have that Pacific Rim music, where it sounds like it's heavily influenced by the original score. Yeah, there it is. See, you can do a ton with the anime format. I like these little dog monsters. Those are cool. Kind of reminds me of the little guys from uh, Uprising as well. That's a cool looking Jaeger. Maybe it wasn't a Jaeger, but it looked like uh, a pretty cool one. I don't know. I have a lot of hope for that show, actually. I don't have a ton to say about it because they have like very few expectations for it, but I actually think that looked really good. I am excited to see what they do with it. Looks like it could be really cool. And again, the anime format does totally lend itself for things like Pacific Rim. That's, that's like custom built for anime. So I think they're going to do a lot of cool stuff with this. And animation looks great. It looks like there's a lot of detail in every shot. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on. Lots of movement I appreciate. And I think it looks very pretty. I think there's a lot of really gorgeous shots in here and I love the neon aesthetic. And and I think that they're doing a lot of stuff right here and I'm very excited to see what else happens and I'm also shocked that it's English. I guess I shouldn't be. Once again, set in Australia, they do like speak English English, like American English. They don't speak with an Australian accent, but it's whatever. But I did think this was being produced by Japanese studios, so that's kind of why I expected it to be Japanese, but I guess not. Hey, I'm all for this. I hope this does well enough to convince studios that Pacific Rim is still a viable franchise that they can produce live action movies of because I would like to get one last Pacific Rim live action movie that ties everything up and ends the story. I hope that's what happens. I hope this shows a success. From these trailers, it looks better than Pacific Rim Uprising looked, and I'm excited to see what this show is all about. Looks like it'll be dropping March, so this is gonna be the busiest March I've ever lived through, you know, with Godzilla vs. Kong, Pacific Rim the Black, and then immediately afterward, in early April, Singular Point starts airing, and I'm sure there will be Singular Point lead-ups to that happening in March. Wow, what a time, guys let's just appreciate how nuts this all is because there's a lot going on a lot to be excited about and it's gonna be fun thank you all for the support i really appreciate it guys for those of you who like and subscribe remember that you guys are the real heroes for the rest of you thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed i will see you guys next time for the next one d-man out what you never watched my 66 years of godzilla tribute <laughs> you know it's Posted, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but go check it out. And then you can tell me if you like it or not.